Among the priorities that, uh, that I'd like to work on in the second half of this Congress, I think, is uh, while our economy is starting to come back, we're starting to see jobs uh, uh, begin to be created again and banks lending money again, and, uh, and some of the signs are actually uh, fairly positive. Uh, we still have high levels of unemployment, and I think we're going to have to continue to focus uh, throughout this year on on uh, getting the economy moving faster and then fast enough so that we're creating uh, a lot of new uh, new jobs with to bring down the unemployment rate. Believe it or not, I think one of the keys to to uh, getting the economy moving in the right direction and sending a, a real positive signal to the businesses, large and small, is for us to take uh, uh, critical action to on the healthcare side, to rein in the growth of healthcare costs, to improve outcomes, to reduce the number of people that are uh, out there without health care coverage, which in the end costs all of us some, some money. So I think uh, job creation uh, flows from, first of all, in doing a very good job on, on health care reform legislation. I worked on that all last year and expect to work on that through the beginning of this year, working on it right now. Um, another thing that I think would, uh, could, could, be, uh, could be helpful is for, for us to uh, um, uh, do three things that uh, may not make much sense to people at the first, first glance, but number one, to put a price on carbon, number two, to put a price on carbon, number three, put a price on carbon. And by that, uh, we mean uh, let's take some steps that are going to actually enable us to reduce our dependence on foreign oil, uh, let's uh, help make, uh, move our country toward energy independence, let's uh, find ways to use, uh, rely less on fossil fuels, let's try and find a way to, to create a stronger economy by uh, ensuring that more people are uh, working to uh, create uh, renewable energies, from whether it's wind, solar, geothermal, or others, to, uh, to uh, help build the next generation of nuclear power plants, uh, and cars, trucks, vans that use less, uh, less energy, that sort of thing. They, uh, those are, and to the extent that we do that, and one of the ways to do that is through a market mechanism, using market forces like we did when we reduced acid rain. Uh, to do that, to to use to reduce the level of carbon dioxide in our air, we can do that without destroying our economy. We can do that in a way that creates a lot of new jobs, a lot of new job opportunities, a lot of new technologies and, and products that we can export around the world. So that would be a real smart thing to do. Um, tax credits that encourage uh, businesses to hire uh, uh, folks, uh, new folks, add them to the payroll. I think that's probably a good idea. And, uh, and uh, actions to incentivize banks to be lending to, to businesses, not, not just large businesses, but small businesses as well, and to make sure that as people's uh, unemployment benefits are expiring, that we don't let them expire entirely until the employment numbers are better, and to ensure that people who, who need food stamps and have to be able to eat have access to those, and those who are losing their health care that they've been able to buy through COBRA, where they pay for about, I don't know, about uh, almost a third of the cost of their health coverage from their previous employer. We want to make sure that doesn't go away over, overnight. Those are some things that we can do to, I think, uh, strengthen the economy, to uh, help uh, reach out in a humane kind of way to people who are suffering already and whose plight would otherwise be worse if they lost their unemployment benefits, if they lost uh, food stamp benefits, if they lost the ability to buy their health care coverage through COBRA.